Welcome to module one. This module will help you think about how you can work effectively together as a group and what you could achieve as a community. It also looks at how community groups work in Scotland and what that means for your group. It will help you think about what you can learn from the different modules in the resource and decide which of these are the most important for your group to complete. Let's get started. It's good to think about how you will work together as a group while you're learning. This includes how you discuss things with each other, listen to everyone's views and value the ideas and opinions you share. If we agree in advance how we will do this by creating some ground rules, it can help us to get the best from our conversations and behave respectfully towards each other. This makes sure that we are bringing our whole group's ideas, opinions and skills to the process of helping our community. Discuss these questions and how you think you should work as a group and what you expect from each other for about the next 15 minutes. Then note the answers on the working agreement template on the module webpage. You can then refer back to it if you need it. When people get together in groups, they're more powerful and effective than when they act as individuals. Collective action provides opportunities for mutual support between people who have had common experiences, such as claiming asylum and making a new life as a refugee. By working collectively, it's possible to organise activities that bring people together to help each other and help them develop a stronger voice as a community. Community groups provide social support within communities and recreational activities for members who may have little money to do this in other ways. They also create opportunities to maintain refugee community cultures while here in Scotland by sharing food, helping to maintain community languages and other activities with links to people's home countries. Groups often share these experiences with Scottish neighbours and friends as a way to support integration. All of these things help people avoid becoming very isolated in a new country at a time of great uncertainty in their lives. They can also provide very practical assistance like creating opportunities for people to get independent advice on benefits or immigration issues for their members. Often, groups have formed to change negative things that happen to their communities. This might include how the asylum system affects their members or how services treat them. Groups can also have a role in helping members deal with discrimination and racism where this is affecting their communities. Doing these things mean that groups need to know how to influence services and participate in decision making. Acting collectively is more powerful than people trying to do things on their own, but it can also be more complicated. This is why it's important to think about the way your group works and how to make it stronger. To be effective in working as a group, you must be well organised. This means you also need to be good at communicating inside and outside of your organisation if you are to make good decisions involving people, including your members. It's also important to be clear about who does what on behalf of the community to make sure it all gets done well and on time. So getting this right is key to having a healthy and effective organisation. That is a group that can do the things for your community that they need done. All organisations in Scotland face similar challenges, especially acting as unpaid volunteers. But groups supporting refugees and asylum seekers also face additional issues of language barriers and different experiences of how communities work together. These can make things more difficult. Community organisations in Scotland have a long history and tradition. They are sometimes informal and many organisations will start out that way. Usually though, they develop legal structures depending on what they need to do to address their aims. This will take the form of formal rules expressed in a governance document, most often known as a constitution. What this does is to demonstrate that you're representative and accountable to your members and will help you convince funders and other partners that they should support you. It's important that your organisation should always reflect the real lived experience of refugees and asylum seekers and focus on what matters to your community. 
At the same time, you have to be competent, flexible and relevant to your community. And achieving this might need you to find the right balance. This is important to get the resources and the recognition that you need. Now spend about 15 minutes answering the following questions. How do community organisations work where you come from? Is this different from how you think community groups will operate in Scotland? And what do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of the different approaches? Now note the answers in the form on the module webpage. For the next 15 minutes, answer these questions about strengths and challenges. What are the strengths in your group that help you to be effective? And what are the challenges you face? What should you do to deal with these challenges? Now make a note of any actions agreed in the form on the module website. Now take some time as a group to look at the module guide. This is available on the web page. It tells you what each module covers and what it will help you to do as a group. Work through the list, discuss the modules and agree what priority these are for you and your committee. The high priority modules will be the ones where you find the things the module covers challenging and you need to know more. The medium priority ones will be those where you have some knowledge within your committee but you want to learn more to improve this. And the low priority ones will be in those areas that you do very well and you don't feel that the module would be useful to you right now. The last thing to do in this module is to consider the next steps. Think about, do the modules you have chosen feel like the right ones for you to focus on? Are there any of the priorities that you think you would want to change? Agree dates when you want to work on these modules and record them in the form on the website. 